So here we are sitting in the middle of that. You saw that map, such extremes around us now. We and know you think that 87 is unbearably well, hot. It, it is hot here, but it's very interesting what we're avoiding because uh, we know we can see the extremes. Uh, I'm, I'm fascinated as to why we're sort of protected right now. Just the general weather pattern. I believe Ben went over it at 5 o'clock. We're just in a northwest flow, and it's kind of dividing us from the really cool air up near the Great Lakes in New England and that super hot air down to our southwest. So that's why we haven't seen too many days in the 90s this year. It's been a relatively mild summer for us so far. And not bad. Phoenix can keep their record 110 for 11 <laughs> yes. days straight. Yeah, we don't need to test that out. <laughs> yeah, not something uh, I want to see at all. And not having 110 degree heat is good if you're going in down to the Hardin County Fair and Horse Show, which is on through the Saturday. It is going to be getting warmer, upper 80s to the lower 90s. But by Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday, that's when we'll start to see some chances for some spotty occasional showers and thunderstorms. But I don't believe we'll necessarily see widespread heavy enough rain that you would have to postpone a trip out there. But uh, we're just in that time of year where you should just kind of expect the potential to see some pop up showers and storms more often than not into the afternoon. Our weather story is that summer heat that is going to start to build in here over the next few days. So I do believe we'll start to see some more 90s, but it's still not going to be excessively hot like it is to our southwest, which is in Arizona, as we're also going to be tracking some rain that's expected to come along with it. Staying most Mostly dry through tomorrow. That first chance of rain will show up tomorrow night. Thursday and Saturday looking like the slightly better chances to see some more scattered activity here across the region. But our risk for severe weather is very low. That should stay well off to our west. So for tonight, clear skies, temperatures dipping into the middle 60s for a lot of us, upper 60s in the metro as we head through tomorrow afternoon. Still a lot of sunshine for us, very similar to today and yesterday. But with a southerly breeze, our temperatures should be able to inch up just a couple extra ticks up into the upper 80s and the lower 90s. Now we'll be watching to the northwest for a decaying area of showers and thunderstorms to be pushing into our area, mostly to the west of I-65. But again, highly unlikely any of that would be severe. For Thursday, we'll start off drier, maybe a few lingering showers around. We'll have partly sunny to mostly cloudy conditions, but I think we'll also see the sky clear out into the afternoon. And by the late afternoon around this time, we should see some more redevelopment of the those will pop up showers and thunderstorms. Now with it staying drier on Thursday and seeing sunshine in the early afternoon, that should let our temperatures jump into the lower 90s and our humidity is definitely going to be picking up. We'll notice that heat and humidity Thursday for sure. Here's Thursday night, still seeing some of those spotty showers and storms. Those will push south of our area slowly through the course of Thursday night. Maybe a couple of lingering showers there early on Friday morning. Rainfall through this weekend is looking pretty uh, respectable around anywhere from about half an inch up to an inch and a half. Some of those higher totals, at least for right now, looking to be to the west of I-65. But since this is over several days, it's unlikely we're going to have any flooding concerns either. Here's our seven day forecast uh, 90s for the next couple of days here, lower 90s, staying mostly dry tomorrow until late in the evening around sunset or later. And then our temperatures will be hovering pretty close to normal Saturday into early next week. But every single day here on the seven day does feature a chance for some showers or thunderstorms popping up here or there. All right, Alden, thank you.